Oh my god. They weren't kidding. This is friggin' micro. Alright, so today, for the first time ever, I'm doing a full face of K-Beauty. These are all Asian beauty brands that I got on YesStyle, and YesStyle is friggin' amazing. I've talked about them in the past because that's where I get my Laneige lip sleeping masks in the past because they're way marked down. Basically, they have tons of different kinds of brands, not just makeup, but like, this is not sponsored by the way, <laughs> but they have like home stuff, clothing, I got some really good t-shirts, skincare, makeup. They do flash sales and like huge markdowns very frequently. So don't ever buy anything full price on there. They always mark the price down. I've tried a few different products from Korean brands, but I haven't really, I've like slightly toe dipped. I haven't, you know, taken a swim yet in Asian beauty brands. So I am very excited. So this isn't sponsored at all, but I did reach out to them to see if they would want to host a giveaway for you guys. And they said yes. So five of you guys are going to win a $100 gift card code to online yes style so that you can shop and go to town. So I hope you guys are excited for a giveaway. If you are, you can enter down below. All the rules are in the description box down below. It's going to run for one week. And if you want to enter, just read the instructions and you can do that. But if you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. If you enjoy this video while you're watching, and you can give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right, so it's first thing in the morning when I'm filming this and uh, the good old caffeine isn't quite kicking in yet. It's one of those days where it's like going in my body and then nothing's happening. And I'm like, are you water? I'm confused. So with all these products, I read through a ton of reviews and I kind of wanted to try the ones that were like best rated and the ones that seem to be really popular. So for SPF, I got the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50. Love the packaging of this. And I've used this twice now. I put it on this morning and I used it yesterday. And it's very lightweight feeling, but moisturizing. And it does feel kind of like a watery essence. It almost feels like a little bit like a serum gel when you put it on, but it does sink into your skin and my skin doesn't feel slippery or greasy or anything. So I do like it. However, this is the first time I've broken out like this, like an actual zit that I could pop in a long time. And I don't know if it's from this or if it's from the Tatcha primer that I've been testing, but I think if you have normal to oily or combo skin, you would probably really like this because it is more of like a lightweight gel, thin kind of SPF and it doesn't have any kind of white cast. It's totally clear. So apparently when my order shipped, some of the products were out of stock, even though they said they were in stock when I ordered them. So I don't have a new primer to try from YesStyle, but I do have a couple other kind of K-Beauty products here that I can use as a primer. So the first one's the J1 Jelly Pack, and then this Zero Sebum by Etude House. I can't remember if it's Etude, I think it might be Etude House. But this one I've had for a while. I actually got this when I was in China, but I got this when I had oily skin. So I definitely don't need an oil controlling product anymore. So I'm gonna go in with the J1 Jelly Pack. This got popular a few years ago. It's like a very, very tacky kind of feel, like a gripping primer, kind of feels like the Milk Makeup one. I haven't used this in a long time. It is super, super sticky. Like my fingers feel like glue right now. By the way, I have press ons, <laughs> press on nails on. It's kind of fun trying out all these nail things. I ordered a dip powder kit to try and do my own. And then I ordered literally like 10 different packs of press on nails. Okay, so for foundation, I ordered three different options here. You can never have enough foundation options, you know what I'm saying? So whatever ones I don't try in this video, I will test in another video or do a foundation Friday on or something. But the one I'm really excited about is the Double Lasting Serum Foundation from Etude House because you guys know one of my favorite foundations of all time is the original Double Lasting. So this is the Double Lasting Serum Foundation. I think this one's supposed to be more illuminating and dewy. This one's definitely more of like a satin matte finish, but I love, love this foundation. And you can get this on sale for like 13 bucks around there on yes style. I also got this pony effect prime protect sun cover. So I think this one is kind of more of like a BB cream tinted moisturizer. This one is SPF 40. So that's cool. I'm going to try that at some point, not today. And then here's the Peri Para ink lasting cover foundation. Ooh, look at this bottle. Love the bottle. Which one should I try? Let's do this one just to switch up the brand since I haven't tried, I don't think anything from Peri Para, maybe like one of their lip products. So I'm just gonna go in with a brush. I should look up what this is supposed to do. So this is in the lighter shade One Ivory. I'm gonna find some of the claims on this guy in a second. Ooh, pretty finish. Ooh, very pretty finish. Super soft looking. And it's looking just like skin. Wow, beautiful finish. 
when I first started blending it out, I thought it was going to be kind of streaky, but it's kind of like melting into my skin now. And looking at my neck, I think that's a pretty good shade match. Yeah, almost like exact. Right now in Yes Style, this is $11. This has a full coverage, long lasting foundation that gives your skin a flawless, beautiful finish with one single drop. <laughs> okay, well, I used more than one single drop, but it says it adheres closely to the skin with a smooth finish. Yeah, I uh, definitely agree with that claim. Comes in three shades, which is awful. That's pretty typical though for a lot of um, Asian beauty brands. That is looking friggin' beautiful. This brush is from It Cosmetics. It was one of their limited edition ones, but all of their foundation brushes are pretty similar. Oh my god, this just like blends into the skin in a way that I don't think I've ever quite seen. It literally is like melting into my skin. So I would say it's full coverage, but I can still see, you know, some stuff coming through. So it's not opaque full coverage, but I would say it's full coverage and it's giving a pretty satin no it's pretty dewy yeah it's definitely dewy dewy finish oh my gosh okay my mind is a little bit blown let's see how it looks on the forehead because that is the true test for me a lot of foundations just look very makeup -y on my forehead beautiful this is definitely a very glowy product it feels super lightweight it feels like a very like airy kind of foundation and the way that that just blended into my skin i'm like I'm impressed right now. I'm just, I don't think I've been this blown away by a foundation in a hot minute. So the concealer I picked up is also actually from that same brand. It's their Ink Concealer in the lightest shade 01. And this comes in like a cute little milk carton kind of situation. Here's what it looks like. It says a silky smooth cream concealer that delivers the appearance of flawless skin all day long. This is $8.90, so also very affordable. And by the way, the prices I'm giving, like I said, they always fluctuate on that site. So this is just what it is when I'm looking at it. Okay, wait. So it's not a dropper. That's just the packaging, I guess. I'm gonna do one eye at a time just to see how this blends out. I can tell because it's more of a creamy formula, I'm gonna give it just a few seconds to kind of set in before I go and blend it out. Definitely feels very creamy. It almost feels a little bit cooling too. Okay, let's blend it out. Oh my God. Why is it that every single freaking time <laughs> sit down to film. They're either blowing leaves, mowing something. Seriously? All right, let me do the other eye and then we're gonna have to take a little break. Thank you, lawnmower. So I'm gonna let this side sit on a little bit longer to see if I can get more coverage. I feel like I got mm, medium coverage. Maybe it looks like it brightened but didn't really cover a whole lot. I got a little bit too much on this eye. Feels very moisturizing. I mean, sitting under the eye is pretty. If you like kind of more medium coverage concealers, I think you would like this. For me, I like a tiny bit more coverage. My under eyes are super particular with powder, so I'm just gonna use my normal powder. I did a whole recent Foundation Friday on what I've been doing as far as my under eye concealer and stuff, so I'll link that in the eye and down below. So this foundation, oh, I actually was expecting it to feel a lot more tacky than it does. It actually feels like it's kind of setting down. Oh, wow. Yeah, it doesn't feel actually tacky at all. So I think I could blend stuff on top. That's pretty rare for ones that look this glowy and dewy. I thought it was going to be kind of more of a creamy finish that I was going to have to fully set. But I still want to set my face since I do want to try out this guy here. This is the Etude House Secret Beam. Wait, is this a highlighter or a powder? Oh, no, powder. Secret Beam Powder Packed Light Pearl Beige is the shade. Here's what the packaging looks like. Open it up, you get a puff, and then here's the powder. So I like using powder foundations to set my face if I'm gonna be. Normally I don't set all over, and right now I'm just gonna set my cheek area, but I typically like using products that have a little bit of coverage so that I can kind of just add a little bit of coverage over my scarring right here where I set. So let's see how this shade is. It is a bit light, actually, that shade. But I feel like because this foundation is so lightweight, it's like I'm not even... I can't even see that powder over top. Definitely light. Like I could use that shade for my under eyes actually, but that's okay because I'm going to be applying bronzer and stuff anyways. So my cheeks are going to temporarily look a little bit light, but I think it'll be fine once I apply everything else. I'm getting like a little bit of glitter somewhere. Oh yeah, this for sure has glitter in it. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to try a touch with a brush underneath my eyes just to brighten it up. Just so I don't look entirely insane, let's do bronzer right now <laughs> before brows. So these I am so excited to try because when I was looking up contour and bronzer products and stuff, there were a lot of shades that looked very promising, which is rare 
for around my skin tone, like ones that are actually kind of cool toned and light enough. So this is the Misha Cotton Contour. It comes in five shades. This is Smoked Hazel. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be friggin' beautiful for contour. Then this one is Hot Cocoa, Salted Hot Cocoa. Ooh, I like that name. Both of these look like they're gonna be really nice. $6, okay, so I am very excited to try this. Let's first try the lighter one. I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be, so I'm first gonna try it on my e.l.f. brush. This typically kind of like shears it out, so if I'm not sure the formula I like to go in with this, but this shade is looking very promising. Okay, never mind. I think this one is sheer enough formula that I can use different brush. Okay, so let's try it with my Flower Beauty. Okay, so very light, natural looking contour, which is perfect if you're around my skin tone because a lot of ones can just look too intense and too ashy. And this is just like a very, very natural shade that looks really nice for just a natural contour. You can see the difference between this cheek and this cheek is just more defined. Yeah, I would totally use this again. I feel like this is one of those contours that you can't really go wrong with. I do want to try this one too, just to kind of like warm up my face a little bit more. So I'm going to use a different brush. So I'm going to try it with this Believe Beauty brush and I'm going to start on my forehead. So again, really nice natural shade. This one almost looks like more of a natural out in the sun kind of bronze, which again is hard to find in this kind of tone. So I totally would use that again too. I'm gonna add a touch to my cheeks. In love with both of those. If you're new here, uh, I'm usually not in love with everything. <laughs> this is kind of rare. And I love how small these are too. It'd be perfect for traveling and they don't take up a ton of space. The only thing I wish they didn't do is put the friggin' tags right on top. Anyone else dread peeling off tags like this? I always give it to either Rach or my boyfriend to do because they both enjoy it somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of bounce around today. So let's do brows, get those on, then I'll do blush and highlight and stuff. So I have a couple different brow products I got to try. This first one is the Etude House Drawing Slim Eyebrow in Dark Brown. Wow, this thing is plastic wrapped tight. I feel like one of these nails is gonna pop off any second. So we have the pencil, and then this is the, also by Etude House, is their Keep My Brows Fixer. I think this one was in clear. It is clear. Okay, so I'm gonna use this afterwards. So it has a spoolie on one end, and let's see. Ooh, it looks really tiny, like that. It looks like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Okay, the shade is a little bit more warm brown than I would like. Totally does the job. I just have other brow pencils I like a little bit more, so I think I would pass on that one. But let's test out this brow gel. So I actually don't have a clear brow gel that I use ever, but I kind of want to just, I don't know, I just want to try it out, try something new and do like the brush up kind of look. So this one got really good reviews, I think. So this can kind of just help keep your brows up if you like that like brushed up kind of look, but also just bring the hairs kind of forward. I don't know if you can tell, but the hairs on this side look more like brows and this one kind of looks more like a pencil. So it almost like brings the texture of the hair out. Oh, one more is coming back. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I would totally use that again. I like how it did bring the hairs out a bit. We'll see how it dries down right now. It just feels kind of cooling. It doesn't feel like hard or anything, but we'll see in a couple minutes. Usually it takes a couple minutes for these kinds of things to like set. So for blush, I chose Last Blush in 07 Almond Blossom. This almost looks like it could also be a contour shade. Sometimes, you know, the shades online when you look, look totally different than how they are in real life, but maybe I did get this to be more of a contour. I'm not sure. So this looks like I could totally use it as a bronzer shade as well. Just kidding. I totally got a blush. This one is from Etude House. This is Lovely Cookie. Okay, so I think this was one of the most popular blush shades. I can't remember. I was watching a few videos from people with their like top K-Beauty products and this was definitely in a few of them. So this is like a really popular product. Again, the friggin' tags. Can we not? You get a puff with a bow. I definitely wouldn't use the puff for blush, but that looks very pretty. Let's test out this blush shade. I have tried this blush, by the way. I have like a lighter pink shade. I wanted to pick up a different shade to try it. Okay. Ooh, it has a little bit of a glow, like a slight glow. That looks pretty, just like a natural pink, but not too, too pink. Oh, I feel like that foundation too on my pores is just sitting really nicely. Usually my pores are a lot more emphasized and you can't even really, you can barely see them right now. I got two different highlights here. The first one is Juicy, Juicy Pang? Juicy Pong Jelly Beam Highlighter in 01 Beam. Oh, this has like some 
pink glitter in it, but it feels nice. It feels like the ColourPop highlights that same kind of feel. This is Clio Prism Air in the shade 01 Gold Sheer. Comes in four colors. Nice packaging again. Ooh, okay, this actually looks like the new Revlon highlight. Okay, totally pretty. It is one of those that kind of emphasizes the texture a touch. Love the shade of that. What are these? Oh, wait, okay, I got a clear brow gel. And I also got a Skinny Brow Mascara by Innisfree. So this is another popular brand, kind of like Etude House. This is in the shade 02 Espresso Brown. I think I got this because I was really excited for the tiny wand. I love, yes, I love when brow products have this super tiny wand like that. Because why, why do brands put the giant friggin' mascara wands on brow products? It does not make sense. So let's just add this on top. Oh, yeah, my brows are definitely locked in there. Wow. They feel not like crunchy, but they definitely feel kind of glued in there after that clear brow gel. So I'm just gonna use this to go over it. Why not? Maybe just in the front, I don't know. Oh, that shade is definitely adding color. Look at it against that one. I don't know if I like the color. I feel like, again, it's a little bit too red. I like the tiny brush though. So if they did have a darker shade, I might order that one to try it. Just because I have it here and I feel like I could add a little bit more bronzer, I do wanna try this one today too. So I'm gonna go actually back in with the last blush in Almond Blossom. I just wanna see, why not? I might actually just bring it kind of more towards my cheeks just to really warm up my face. Oh, wow, I'm loving all of these shades. This one definitely is a bit more pigmented, like I just needed a touch of that. I'm gonna prime my eyes using my MAC paint pot. I looked to see if they had like some kind of product like this on there. I couldn't find it. Let me know if there are any comparable products like this, but this is just my go-to. And whenever I'm testing new eyeshadow and stuff, I like to just use the same primer typically because I know this one just works amazing as a base. So from that same Clio brand that I use the highlight, this is their Pro Eye Palette. And this is in the shade Street Brick. I got this from someone's video. I'm gonna try and find the videos I watched and I'll link them down below. So this was one of her favorites. This one wasn't cheap. I wanna say this was like 20 bucks, $27. So this is not a cheap eyeshadow palette, but I wanted to test one that did get good reviews and stuff. Shades in here look, okay, <laughs> there goes the brush. Shades in here look really beautiful though. So I also got two liquid shadows from Etude House is their Mirror Holic Liquid Eyes. This one is in Mirror Mirror, which is a beautiful silver. Ooh. I love these kind of liquid cream eyeshadow products because you get the glitter effect and like the super intense metallic without actually having to put dry glitter on your eyes. Oh my God, this one looks beautiful. Look at that one. This one's in the shade Rose Ice Wine. Okay, just tried to type in Mirror Holic on here and I Googled Mirror Holocaust, so that's a... Great search. So they make 12 different shades in these and it's $9.81, so pretty good. So just because of the shades I have here going, I'm uh, guessing we're gonna do some kind of rose goldy kind of eye. So I'm actually gonna start out with that same blush shade. Since I don't really have a matte transition shade to start out with, I'm just gonna go back in with that same blush shade that I used. So I'm gonna start by blending this into the grease. Yeah, that one is really pigmented. Update, my mind is still blown by the foundation. So I'm gonna take this shade on that same brush. This is the Morphe R38. No idea what we're doing. I'm just gonna go in. Wow, super pigmented, very pigmented. I like that these aren't super powdery too. Yeah, you need like a touch of that super soft feeling too. I just wanna touch this because <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know if it's gonna be like a chunky glitter or like super metallic. Ooh, it's thought it was gonna be kind of a dry glitter, but it's actually not. You could totally just press that on the lid. Because I do wanna put this kind of rose gold coppery shade on the lid, I'm gonna put down a darker base actually, I think. I think I'm gonna put this actually all over the lid and then apply a shimmery shade over top. Formula of these mattes are very nice. They're super pigmented, but they're blending out. Bringing it all the way in, I guess we'll do kind of a halo eye today maybe. I want to deepen up a touch so I'm going to go in with this reddish brown shade. So I'm just kind of tapping it on and bringing it down at an angle. Yeah these just blend so easily. So I'm just blending out the edges with a big fluffy brush. Just so I can test these I'm really curious about how these ones look on the eye. I'm going to go with this purpley one first and then press that onto the lid. I don't know if I'm going to have to wet this with a brush maybe but we'll first try it with a finger. 
a finger. Let me just grab a random finger real quick. Oh, I think this might be better with the brush, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna use a brush though, but that, that looks gorgeous. Just because I feel like I can't get it right where I want it with the, these nails. I sprayed my brush with some MAC Fix Plus, and now I'm going to press it on. Oh my god. So that shade you definitely wouldn't want to put on without something underneath. Like, you'd have to use another eyeshadow underneath because it's kind of more sheer. I'm gonna go in with this shade on a brush and put that really close in and bring it up just to kind of open up my eye a little bit more. Okay, now let's take this bad boy. This reminds me of the e.l.f. ones like this that recently launched. Okay, so let's dab some on top. Um, no words. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? I'm not sure. I have not. So I'm blending that out, just the edges, but I still want to keep it right where it is. I don't want to bring it too far in because I do want to keep like the halo. So it actually looks way less kind of copper and pink and it just looks like a very pretty, almost like champagne gold. It looks totally different on the eye and I'm in love with it. I could see myself layering this with both cool tones and warm tones. It's almost like that shade where it could go either way. I haven't even dipped back in. I'm not sure what I'm feeling for the lower lash line yet, but I have this liquid liner to try. It's the Moni Waterproof Pen Liner. I don't know how I got Moni. It's actually called McQueen Waterproof Pen. It's $5, so hopefully this is good. I don't think I want to wing it today. I think I'm just going to keep it pretty close in. I kind of want to do more of like a fluttery kind of look, you know? So is this supposed to be waterproof? Ooh, that is very black. It's a brush tip, which I much prefer over a felt tip. Went over that glitter perfectly. Nice fine tip, liking this. All right, would totally use that again. $5, you guys. Obviously haven't tested the waterproof claim yet, but it seems to dry down quickly. It's not like burning my eyes or anything. And I just love how black and easy that was to apply. So even though I'm putting on lashes, I did want to test a mascara still. So I'm going to apply it as I normally would. Typically, if I'm putting on false lashes, I'll just do a thin coat of mascara, but I do want to test this. So it's the Etude House Lash Perm Curl. It says 24 hours. Mascara, I cannot sleep in. I don't care what the circumstance is, I'm not sleeping in it. Has kind of like a Maybelline falsies kind of wand, just curved, but a bit smaller. So this one seems to be pretty separating, but I'm getting virtually no volume and it's almost making my lashes look like shorter than they are. Just sneezed. I'm gonna try and layer this one up. So two coats is definitely the way to go. Pretty natural looking, so if you like you know, natural looking mascaras, you would like this. I personally like the thick, uh, volume, clumpy kind of looks. It's my jam. So for lashes, I'm gonna link the exact ones down below because I don't see a name. Glam volume, maybe? You can get some really good deals on lashes on there. Like, if you find a style that you like, it could be a really good, affordable place to find lashes. So I'm gonna cut these. I actually also got a new lash glue to try, so I'm gonna try it out. It's by Etude House. As my lash glue is drying, I realized I actually also got another liquid shadow. So this is by a different brand. It's Sugar Twinkle Liquid Shadow in Pink Melody. I think I might put this on my lower inner corner. And so I'm just gonna pop this right here. <sighs> so pretty. And then I'm gonna take my, not my finger, because I have nails on. <laughs> I'm gonna take a brush and kind of blend that out. I love that like open kind of look. And I'm also gonna take, I don't have one from that I ordered on YesStyle, but I'm just gonna take a cream colored liner. This one's by NARS, it's Rue Bonaparte. And I'm gonna pop that on my waterline. I'm just gonna take this, even though it's shimmery, I'm just gonna take this light shade because I just want a touch of something. I will say my under eyes actually look very smooth. So I do like that concealer. It's just not quite as much coverage, but maybe I would like it layering it with another one that has a bit more coverage. But those are pretty and just very kind of fluttery and soft looking. I like how thin they are towards my inner corner. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the lash glue. I feel like it dries down in about the same amount of time as my normal one, which is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive Aloe. So I've been on the hunt for a good new lower lash line mascara to use because my go-to Wet n Wild one was discontinued. The new one that they repackaged is not the same, by the way. Lately, I've been using the MAC Extended Giga Black Lash just because I like the wand on this one. I don't know if it's like my absolute favorite favorite, so I want to try a new one. This one's by Innisfree and it's the Skinny Micro Cara. Oh my God, they weren't kidding. This is friggin' micro. Can't even see it. I'm excited. Okay, let's try this on the lower lash line. Lower lashes. This is great. So easy to get in there because of how friggin' tiny this is. 
I feel like it's not quite as black as the MAC one, but I do like it, and I think this could be good for just every day when you just want kind of like a natural looking mascara on the lower lash line. So this one is eight bucks. So I will update down below if this transfers down once I wear it a few more times, but so far so good. So I've been testing this lip sleeping mask. It's the Clavu, Clavu brand. And this I really like. It's comparable to the Laneige one, but it's more affordable and I've used this a couple times now. I really like it. it. Smells like vanilla, but not overpowering. And it gives you that same kind of like plump look. It's not as lightening as the Laneige one. Like that one definitely lightens my lips a little bit, which is why I like using that one like during the day too, not just as a overnight lip mask. But this one I wore last night, made my lips really soft this morning. I got three different lip products because I wasn't sure what the eyeshadow situation was gonna be, like the colors. So I kind of just went for a few different ones. This, I believe, is one of Peri Pera's most popular products, the Lip Tint, I think. I could be wrong. This is in the shade 06, and it's supposed to be like a lip stain, basically. Oh my god, I love this packaging. <gasps> look at that. That is so pretty. There's that, which might look kind of weird with today's look. This one's the Peri Pera Ink Airy Velvet Stick in Cinnamon Chai Tea. So it's just a lipstick, and it looks like a really pretty orange color. Again, it might look kind of weird with that, but I love these orangey red kind of tones. So I'm guessing we're going to be going in with this one just because the shade. But this is in 219 Brilliant. Mood Recipe is the brand. I think the shade I really wanted in this was sold out, but ooh, look at that packaging too. So nice. Very orange, but I think it could work with these eyes. I'm not using the lip liner today, apparently. This is a unique um formula. I feel like... This is gonna be pretty long lasting. I wanna say it's drying, but it's a little bit of a stiffer formula. All right, that was looking quite orange. Not quite sure if I'm into that. Maybe we'll get wild and apply this highlight. Should we try it just for shits and giggles? I just wanna make it a little bit less orange. All right, so this is the final look. I am overall so stoked about how this went because I feel like I have so many products now that I can't wait to put on my face again. Obviously, number one being the foundation. I will update you guys down below what I think of this after I've worn it for a full day and everything, but so far I am blown away. I'm not getting any creasing on my upper lip. Everything just looks so smooth and skin-like and it feels comfortable on the face and for 12 bucks or whatever this was, $11. I am just very excited. I think I'm actually gonna order a shade up though because I feel like I look a little bit washed out right now. So I'm really excited to play around with some of the stuff I discovered in today's video. If you have any other products that I need to try out from YesStyle or just K-Beauty brands, do let me know down below. I feel like this is a whole new world I'm opening here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have all the products I used on my face today listed down below in the description box. I'll also link the nails and stuff if you wanna try them out. I got them off of Amazon. I had blue <laughs> nail polish on underneath before, so my nails are like kind of blue looking under, but whatever is what it is. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.